next in life. This guy started work coming to his restaurant and he was a meth and fentanyl dealer. This happened within a year. And we took Jeffrey to three rehabilitation centers to save him, to rescue him. But the last time he took meth, he had a lethal dust of fentanyl mixed in it. No, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. All right. Open, Jeffrey. Yes. Yes. Open them, Jeffrey. We're here. Don't worry. Yes. You're strong, Jeffrey. You're strong. Yes. Come on, open your eyes. Oops. Wake up, Jeffrey. Go all the way, yo. All the way. Jeffrey. Wake up. Open your eyes, Jeffrey. Wake up. All the way, young boy. All the way. All the way, niño. Seems because that's what fentanyl does. It suppress your breathing ability because it heat the central nerve system and basically shuts down your ability, your capacity to breathe. The doctors believe because the MRI, they believe that Jeffrey was close to nine minutes without breathing, a miracle that he's alive. Jeffrey has diffused hypoxic ischemic brain damage, severe. Six of his lobes, six of his brain uh, lobes and the brain stem has been destroyed. Um, because of that, four of his organs were collapsing and were failing. Heart, kidneys, liver, and according to doctors, he was never going to be able to breathe on his own. For the last 10 months, my husband and I basically have lived in hospitals and rehabilitation centers, even though we have done great progress Jeffrey still doesn't talk, Jeffrey still doesn't eat, Jeffrey still doesn't walk. This nightmare, this tsunami of hell has destroyed and touched every aspect of our life and has uprooted the life that once we knew it has touched our finances, our jobs, our business, our marriage, our family time. Every aspect of life has been uprooted from its foundation. This is hell. This is called fentanyl. But here's the reality. Law enforcement is not going to do it on their own. We're not going to solve this problem from a law enforcement perspective. But if you... Cameron was, hands down, the funniest kid I've ever known. He was just one of those just gregarious and tried to get a laugh out of others. He was a talented